Hey guys, so last time around we had some problems. Um, my VTX broke and we're gonna be out of the air for a while. I did order a new VTX. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rebuild some things in my quad and that'll be coming up soon. Uh, but until then, we have something to take a look at. Um, is my new charging system. I'm actually gonna build a dedicated charging system. Because what I've been doing is um, I've just been charging my batteries of a very simple sort of uh, charger. It goes up to like 4.2 volts, no discharging or anything like that. So I got a new system and I'm gonna show you what I've got and I'm gonna show you uh, the installation, how I set it all up. So the main unit is this. It is an ISDT Q6 uh, 300 watt charger. Uh, now this is a very tiny charger, right? So it can charge one to six cells and can do up to six lipos at a time. Now I'm gonna com be combining it with uh, this, I guess, what do you call this? This is a parallel charging board, I guess. So this has a slot for six lipos. Um, and that's all gonna be powered with this Chinese um, 300 watt power supply. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna connect everything, show you how I do it, and then um, I'll follow up with sort of a little bit of an installation. I'm gonna try to put it all in one box, make it sort of a neat, neat unit that I can just bring with me wherever I wanna go, and can use it to charge either at home or on the go. So that should be uh, one charging solution to meet all my needs. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by connecting these parts and uh, see how they work. Okay, so power supply. So let's get this all opened up. So the output will then go here, like so. The input is just very easy. We have an XT60 connector on both sides. And then our balance port. I'm guessing the balance port is going to go on this side, it seems like this. So this is how it's going to look. Now we're going to have to connect the actual charger to the power supply. Okay, so this power supply that came off Banggood uh, comes uh, with these connectors here. And uh, this is going to go into these ports 7 number 9 here on the end. So we're just gonna get those unscrewed real quick so I can fasten this in. So that's gonna be these three here. So the brown wire is gonna connect to the L here on the end. Then we have the blue wire. That's gonna be going into the next port, that is the N. Then we're gonna have the yellow and the green wire going into the last port here. And that should be our power connected. Now, if I plug this in, okay, so we got uh, the fan is on and we got a green light here on the LED. So that should mean we're getting, we're getting power. Now, this ISDT charger just has these uh, has an X XT60 plug which has these uh, red and black wires which are gonna go into the V plus and V minus. Now I believe it doesn't really matter which port you plug it into. I'm guessing that they all just output a positive 12 volts. So we're gonna go ahead and put this into ports three and four. Three being the red wire and four being the black wire. There we go, so we're all plugged in. So, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the XT60 to the charging board and the balance connector for the charging board also plugged in. They're gonna go like this. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this plugged in. Um, it says revolution starts here on my screen. I'm guessing this is some sort of plastic. 
that is weird that I'm not seeing. Well, let's get it plugged in, see what happens. Three, two, one, pray. Battery not connected, okay. Well, this seems to be working. I'm gonna get this plastic off. And the plastic is off. All right. Let's get this plug back in. Q6. Okay, so. I'm gonna look at some of our info here. Current one ampere. Battery type light bulb, task charge. Let's go ahead and go back. Cell count. First, we can change this. I have three cells only. I'm not going to start charging. Yeah, here we get some info on the, uh, on the unit itself. Uh, it's getting 12.1 volts from this thing. Uh, you can actually adjust this power supply. There's a screw on here in which you can adjust the voltage coming out. Uh, I guess we don't really need that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get a battery plugged in. I believe I brought some batteries here. So, so if I understand this correctly, this up arrow means that these ports here on the side, these balancing ports, will be for this charger. So let's just get this plugged in and see what happens. Battery voltage says 12.42. Okay. And the light was charging at one amper. We can actually hear the power supply amping up. It's uh, amping up here and we can see the milliamp hours here. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, stop this quickly. And we are back and the color of my shirt has magically changed. It is in fact the next day. I have gone out and gotten some more of the supplies we're gonna need for this. Um, so what I got is this box. This is gonna be my solution for charging. So the idea is that inside here, Right in the bottom, we are going to have the power supply. This will then slot over where we will have the ISDT charger itself, along with a parallel board, and then uh, the batteries, you can sort of place the batteries on top of it. Okay, so I want to install a fan, uh, but I think I'm actually gonna let the fan installation wait a little bit. Uh, I thought I had some proper sized fans, but apparently I don't, so. They're all way too big for this. I'm gonna do the, uh, install everything else and then we'll do the fan afterwards. All right. So if we just get down to business, then this will have to be mounted on the bottom here. I'll have to run this cable through the side. I'm actually just gonna glue this power supply in. Okay, so this is basically what it's gonna look like on the inside. Uh, then we're gonna have this panel come over here. And that is where we're gonna place the charger and the batteries. Right now, I'm probably not gonna fasten that in fully uh, because I want to have a fully fledged cooling system in place. So I will just sort of loosely mount it in. So this was gonna it's gonna be what my charging solution looks like. And just power coming out the back here. Now for a more permanent installation, I'll probably lengthen out the cords of my ISDT charger and uh, so that it, like, it can be permanently mounted here and give a little bit of bit more room for the actual batteries and I'll also put in a fan for the cooling so that I can actually close this up 
when it's charging and prevent a little bit of the noise. So that's it guys, that's my charging solution and my overview of the ISDT Q6 charger. Um, it's working good, it's working nicely. I really like the charger and I like the setup and I like that I'm gonna be able to keep it all in just one simple box like this. Uh, maybe once I get a proper cooling system in place, I'll do a little bit of an update on that. But uh, until then, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, remember to uh, leave a comment if there's, if there's anything you wanna ask or say, or just uh, if you like the video, then you can go ahead and like and subscribe. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.